tomorrow night against either Blackman or Riverdale. I'm talking about the girls against either Blackman or Riverdale. Uh, meanwhile, over on the boys' side, uh, Coffee County wins. They're going to go to the district chair, excuse me, the region championship against all likelihood what will be Siegel. Siegel will be the other team coming out. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll see, but it's more than likely going to be the Stars on that end coming out. Uh, it's going to be Siegel or Stewart's Creek in that one. So it's win or go home. Region championship tomorrow night for the girls. Region championship on th uh, Thursday for the boys. Also, something else worth noting. If Coffee County wins here tonight, they will uh, advance to the region finals, as said, but they will also have an automatic berth to the state sectional on Saturday night. So Wednesday night's region final game will determine home or away on Saturday. If they win in the region championship, they'll be at home on Saturday against either Bradley Central or Stone Memorial. If they lose on Wednesday, they will be on the road against either Bradley Central or Stone Memorial. On Saturday, if you win, you go to the state tournament. If you lose, your season is over. So we've got some big situations coming up and uh, big games for these teams here at Coffee County High School. Um, Coffee County down a starter, or not down a starter, they're down a player tonight. We'll talk about that uh, here momentarily, let you know who that is. We'll get you set up on the history of these two teams, their records, and what they've been up to. All of that coming up on the Power Storage pregame show. Power Storage in Manchester, they got units of all shapes and sizes. Whether it doesn't, you want a smaller unit, a bigger unit, you need to store a couple of things, you need to store a whole boat. Whatever it is you need to store, give them a call. They've got space for you, and they are affordable. 931-728-7181. This is the Power Storage pregame show. On your hometown station, we are Thunder Radio. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, <laughs> that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau, more than an insurance company. It's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl, and someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. Go somewhere that's better. Well, you know First Vision Bank can make it easier than ever. They can give you cash back on your everyday needs. And if you use a different ATM, they reimburse the fees. Wow, wow that's great. Gee, thank you for the tip. Please, you don't have to thank me. Anyone can make the switch. If you're tired of your bank, don't let them treat you badly. Go to First Vision Bank right across the road from Zaxby's. What's this bottle and what the, this shirt? How did I get here? Jackson, you're at work out any time. A new gym with state-of-the-art equipment. Keep your squats low and your standards high, because it's open 24-7. Now you're getting it. Complete with massage chairs, padding beds. I love work out any time. Work out any time. Your fitness, your schedule. We all work hard for our money. So if you're in the market for a new or used car, SUV, truck, or van, come to Al White Motors, where you'll always get more bang for your buck. We have a huge selection of pre-owned vehicles for every budget, with vehicles starting at under $2,000. We also have the means to get you financed, whether you have great credit, no credit, or terrible credit. Give us a call at 728-2402 to get pre-approved now. That's Al White Motors in Manchester. So imagine this, it's late at night and you're really stinking tired, but you can't find any time to sleep because you're too focused on getting the big high score on that video game. But imagine the next day, you're at school and you're waiting on the result for your test only to find out it's just a big F minus. And now you're thinking, crap, I really messed that one up, didn't I? Well. The best solution for that is to get more sleep. You can still enjoy what you love doing, but just be sure to set yourself a time limit. Ideally, you should get 8 hours of sleep every night. That way, if you sleep better, you have enough energy to pass those tests. For more information about the benefits of great sleep, visit sleepfoundation.org.
Back at Joe Frank Patch Memorial Gymnasium, I am Josh Peterson, courtside at the Dennis Weaver Memorial Press on Thunder Radio. We thank you for hanging out with us at 107.9 FM, 1320 AM. You're also streaming us on the Manchester Go app and at thunder1320.com. If you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, that is courtesy of the high school audio visual class, Raider TV, and uh, big thanks uh, tonight. We couldn't do it uh, without sponsors on that one tonight because once you get into the postseason, uh, the TSSAA requires uh, a, a fee for that, and HP Stud and Steel Welding, LLC, stepping up to make that happen for us tonight. So thank you for hanging out with us. I am Josh Peterson with you. Let's take a look at Coffee County in Oakland. Oakland comes in at 19-10 and 10 on the year, 10-4 and 4 in District 7 AAA. That is nothing to shake a stick at right there. That is a tough district. Coffee County, 28-1 and 1 overall. They finished 13-0 in the district after district tournament games are considered. Rockville recently beat Lawrence County 51-33 in the Region 4 AAA quarterfinals on Monday night, last night. Uh, the same night that Coffee County was uh, in action against Rockville. Coffee County beating Rockville 54-27 in the Region 4 AAA quarters on Monday in Manchester. They ranked number three in the state AP poll to close the season. The lone loss coming to Blackman back on December the 1st. These two teams have not played this year. The last meeting was back on December 22nd, 2018, so that really doesn't mean a whole lot. Coffee County did win that game, 61-52. You look at a couple of common opponents. Uh, Oakland beat Rockville in two meetings, 47-25 and 53-27. Uh, Coffee County, of course, beating Rockville 54-27. So you're looking at some pretty similar scores. You're going to see a lot of similarities with these teams. Oakland, very athletic team. Uh, out there. They can shoot it well. They can put points on the board. Coffee County uh, going to have uh, their work cut out for them tonight. The Lady Raiders are down a player. Junior Emma Fulks will not be available tonight for Coffee County. Uh, she'll hopefully be listening in at home and we wish her a speedy recovery. She is not available for Coffee County tonight uh, and we hope that she gets well soon. That means Coffee County's sixth girl rotation is all of a sudden a five girl rotation so we'll keep our eye on that tonight foul trouble um, injuries anything like that is something to keep our eyes on tonight for the lady raiders if things start to get uh, rough in that scenario we're about three minutes away from tip lady raider basketball is brought to you by al white ford lincoln local uh local faces uh, friendly faces uh friendly service and Al White for Lincoln, 2002 Hillsborough Boulevard. They've been doing it for over 60 years, and you can't do it like that in a small town if you don't treat people the right way. They get you great deals every time. They'll always take care of you. they got vehicles for all budgets, $2,000. Uh, and I said two, not 10. I said two, $2,000. If you got a couple grand and you need a car, they'll find you something that's reliable all the way up to 95000 If you want that brand-new Lincoln Navigator, they'll take care of you at Al White for Lincoln on Hillsborough Boulevard right here in Manchester. We got starting lineups. We got the opening tip when we come back. This is Lady Raider basketball on your hometown station. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. So imagine this. It's late at night and you're really stinking tired, but you can't find any time to sleep because you're too focused on getting the big high score on that video game. But imagine the next day. You're at school and you're waiting on the result for your test, only to find out it's just a big F minus. And now you're thinking, crap, I really messed that one up, didn't I? Well, the best solution for that is to get more sleep. You can still enjoy what you love doing, but just be sure to set yourself a time. Ideally, you should get eight hours of sleep every night. That way, if you sleep better, you have enough energy to pass those tests. For more information about the benefits of great sleep, visit sleepfoundation.org. Every year, millions of people die from cancer. Over 630,000 of those people were also obese. Uterine, lung, breast, colon, and more can be caused by obesity and lack of exercise. Simply exercising regularly can decrease the chance of cancer by 40 to 50 percent. It doesn't have to be hard. Simply walk for half an hour every day, or run, jog, or play a sport you love. Anything to get you moving. Give yourself the extra 40 to 50 percent. Don't put yourself at risk for cancer. Get moving. Outrun cancer.
more information, visit cancer.net. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, <laughs> that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau. More than an insurance company, it's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl. And someday, I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. Great job by the Coffee County Central High School marching band. Starting lineups now first for Oakland, and then we'll get to Coffee County. Starting for the Lady Patriots, number three, Clara McGowan. Number 20, Terriana Covington. Number 21, Beth Nelson. Number 24, Nakia Chesterfield. And number 42, Nicole Egaro. Those are your starters for Oakland. Sorry if I butchered anybody's name. Oakland will be in their road red uniforms, red tops, red shorts. Oakland across the chest in white with white numerals on the front and the back. Coffee County be wearing their home white uniforms, white tops, white shorts with black coffee across the chest and also uh, black uh, numerals trimmed in red. The starting lineups tonight for your Coffee County Central Lady Raiders. Hi, my name is Bella Vinson. I'm number 23 and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Ellie Chumley, number 33 and I'm a junior. Jaylee Ruling, number 12. I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name's Olivia Real. I'm number 22 and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Chloe Gannon. I'm number 44 and I'm a sophomore. Those are your starters for the Coffee County Lady Raiders. Coffee County going left to right on your radio dial. Oakland will be going right to left on the radio dial. Win or go home tonight. I'm Josh Peterson joined by Brad Costello who's going to hang out with us uh, at the press table. Yeah, thanks for letting me come over well, since last second. Last minute fill in. That's all right. I'm, Nobody wants to hear me talk. I'm also sorry to replace the person that was sitting here was way better looking than I am. She was. Uh, she was. Um, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do, do. She doesn't know how to talk basketball. <laughs> well, uh, she takes good pictures. Officials for tonight's game, Corey Massey, Jeff Rollins, and James Wiseman. Those are your officials for tonight's game. If Coffee County wins, they'll be in the region championship. If they lose, the season is over. Uh, you win, and you're also guaranteed a trip to the state sectional on Saturday. That's going to be against either Bradley Central or Stone Memorial. The Red Raider boys tip off at 7.30. Join us on Thunder Radio, 107.9 FM, Thunder th or, uh, 1320 AM, Thunder1320.com. And the Manchester Go app will have uh, swing around coverage with Jonathan Oliver. He is there tonight. He is set up and ready to go. We're ready to tip this ball midcourt. Bella Vincent wins the tip right to Chloe again. It's Coffee County basketball. Remember, Coffee County short, a lady tonight. Short, Emma Falks. We're going to miss her for sure. Hope these girls can play hard. And and I like that. Coffee County's trying to go to Bella in the post, and immediately a call on Beth Nelson holding Bella Vincent. That's something that's not been called a lot. 
this year, teams have kind of had free reign at Bella when she doesn't have the ball. And a quick off-ball uh, call there from the official. Lady Raider basketball inbounding on the baseline. Jaylee Rulick, top of the key, going to hand it off to Bella. She's guarded there by Nelson, who's going to pressure the ball. Bella drives by her, pulls up free throw line. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound, Ariel. She kicks it out to Chumley, now to Rulick. Ruling guarded out there by Covington. She drives past her. She finds Real in the right corner. Real gets into the paint, kicks it out to Chumley. Chumley thought about penetrating, but backs out now and finds Real in the corner in front of the Oakland bench. So they're trying to find Chloe Gannon down low, but uh, the girl's defending her pretty well right now. Yeah, absolutely, giving her a hard time down there. It's Nicole Egaro. Egaro. Chloe's got it on the high post. She gets it to Bell on the low post. Bell puts it on the floor, up off the glass. Ooh. Can't get the shot to go down. She gets her own rebound, ties it up down there. And we're going to get a held ball. Possession arrow will be Oakland. She tied it up down there. Looked like that was Clara McGowan. And it'll be Oakland basketball in the alternating possession. Well, they got a decent look at it. Couldn't get, couldn't get all the way around Beth Nelson. It was good defense from Nelson. Lady Patriot basketball. Don't let Oakland's record fool you. They come in at 19 and 10, but uh, 10 and 4 in that district, 7 AAA, and that is murderer's row over right. there. Right. They played and lost against a lot of really good teams. So. They did. And they've been there tested. They've seen this kind of play all season long. This is nothing new to them at all. Ball goes into the left wing. Three-point shot on the way. That was McGowan. Their shot's no good. Rebound. Ellie Chubley. Coffee County's going to push the basketball. No score here. Minute and a half in. You're watching on Raider TV. That's brought to you by HP Stud Welding. Jaylee Ruling drives her up past somebody, kicks it into the wing to reel, reel back to Ruling. Three-pointer up from the top of the key. Boom. Money. Jaylee Ruling from the top of the key. The Capstar Bank three-pointer. First National Bank is now Capstar Bank. Old friend's new name. Two locations to serve you. Oakland with the basketball trying to get into the post. They kick it out. Head fake by Nelson, who penetrates and kicks. Her shot no good. She gets her rebound back, puts it back up this time. Beth Nelson with the two. Nelson got Bella to close out and got her off of her feet. Bella picks up her dribble, skips it to Ellie Chilman down to the corner. Olivia Real. There gets she got it him. To Gannon in the post, her left hand no good. Just couldn't finish. She had a look. Just couldn't finish. That's a good look, though. If Caldy can't get that movement, get that look all night, I like that. Absolutely. Chloe will be big down low. Eggero gets in the post turnaround shot. No good. Ball goes off of Covington and out of bounds. Coffee County basketball. 5.30 to play first quarter. Lady Raiders lead 3-2. And Oakland's going to press, try to get some pressure on the basketball. Inbound to Chumley. Chumley's going to take it right down the sideline past Covington and press the timeline. The ball goes to Gannon in the post left hand up. She missed it. She gets it back. She's fouled. Gannon missed the bunny. And Coach Cope telling her, hey, you got to finish that. I think she was surprised to find herself so wide open. She turned around and expected some contact. Coffee County is going to need Chloe Gannon tonight to have one of her 18, 20 point performances in the post. She's headed to the Al White Motors free throw line. That foul was on Chesterfield. Free throw is no good. That was Chesterfield's first. And Gannon to shoot two free throws. She misses the first. She's got one more. Al White Motors free throw shot is up. That's no good. She missed them both. Mm. Coffee County's got to get something more solid there. Got to capitalize on those type of opportunities. She'll tell you that for sure. Ball goes over to the left side to Nelson. Nelson puts it on the floor with the right hand, drives around some people, gets a wide open layup up and in. Coffee County didn't rotate well, and Oakland's up 4-3. Ball goes ahead to Bella Benson across the timeline for Coffee County. It's a one-point Oakland lead. She's guarded tightly by Nelson. It's a good matchup, Bella, Benson, and Beth Nelson. That move she made to the goal was pretty, looked pretty good to me down on their end. Chumley on the right wing. They're going to leave her alone. She's going to pass it out of there to Gannon. again in the high post. Knocks down a jumper. There we go, Chloe Gannon. 17 feet away from the basket. She'll finish from there. Coffee County's back in front 5-4. That'll teach them to leave her wide open up there. Teams are learning that the hard way. Oakland basketball, Chesterfield gets into the post to Eggero. Turn around off the basket. Good move down in the post. That's good D, and you know, you got to be a little more cautious, only having really, without Emma, one less sub for the game. Chloe's got to be careful down there on that low block. And Coffee County can't afford foul trouble, that's for sure. Real. Skips it to Chumley, right wing. I'd like to see Ellie knock that down. She finds Chloe in the high post. She's going to fire away a three pointer. Knock it down! Boom! 
Chloe again in the Capstar Bank three pointer. Let's see how long they leave her alone. Covey County in front eight to six. All you had to do is move Chloe 17 feet away from the I'm basket. I'm telling you, she maybe has found her new spot. Ball goes to Nelson. Left wing, now into the corner. That's McGowan. It brings it to the wing, fires up a three. It's on target and good. Now we got some offense going on both sides. Clara McGowan with the three in Oakland in front. Nine to eight. Ball goes in front to Bella Vincent. She's going to fire up a three. That's a little short. Rebound pulled down by McGowan of Oakland. And here come the Lady Patriots with a one point lead. 325 to play here in the first quarter. Going all the way to the basket is McGowan. And she's going to be bumped by Gannon. It's going to be Chloe's first, team first. Shot was no good, but she's going to get to shoot free throws. Oakland showing some athleticism here. First free throws up and good for McGowan. I, I tell you what, I thought Rockville last night was athletic as any team we've seen. They just struggled to put the ball in the basket. They get them down the floor well. This team moves well, and it you know, made, it some, made some shots so far. So McGowan hits them both, and it's a three-point Oakland lead with 3.20 to play in the first quarter. We're going to get a sub into the game. That's Destiny Newman. She's going to replace Nakia Chesterfield. For Nakia. Ruling. Penetrates. Kicks to Real in the corner. One more pass to Chelmley. Chelmley wants to go into the paint. She kicks it out to Bella Vincent. To Ruling. Right wing. Ruling gives a head fake. Steps off to the wing. Thought she was going to try to penetrate there, but doesn't. She goes to Chumley on the right wing. It goes to Gannon in the high post. Skips it to Ruling in the corner. Three-point shot on the way. A little strong. Mm. Rebound. Ellie Chumley with a box out. Oh. She puts it back up. She's fouled. She misses the shot, but she's going to shoot free throws. Ellie Chumley absolutely moved Destiny Newman out of the paint to get that rebound. Foul is going to be on Covington, her first. Into the Iowa White Motors free throw line. It's L.A. Chumley. Coffee County needs to be good at the charity stripe tonight. I'd like to see this ball go in. It'll be good for Ellie's confidence. First free throw is a little short. Coffee County 0 of 3 start at the free throw line. There's a difference in the ball game right there. 2.47 to play first quarter. Decent crowd on hand for a girls only night, especially when the boys are on the road. Second free throw from Chumley is up. That's good. There we go. She's got one. Coffee County trails by two on the First Division Bank scoreboard. Business or personal banking? First Division Bank has services for you. 2134 Hillsborough Boulevard. Local partners, personal solutions. McGowan gets a screen, kicks it to Newman, who just checked in. Newman high on the right wing, back to McGowan. Guarded by Real. Coffee County to man-to-man -man defense and a travel right. on Covington. Should they call it a travel as much as they call it a carry? Either way, it works. Turnover, I think that's the first for Columbia. I think you're right. Jaylee ruling to bring it down the floor. Lobs it ahead to Bella in the corner. Bella doubled down there, but she gets it out. Ball swung to Ellie Chumley on the left wing. Columbia County trying to work the post to Chloe Gannon. Chumley hands it off to Ruling now. 2-10 to play, first quarter. Lady Raiders trail by two, 11-9 the score. Bella Vincent has it on the right wing. Vincent to Chumley. Chumley now hands it off to Ruling. Up high near the double C's at midcourt. She bounces it off to Vincent. Left wing guarded tightly there by Beth Nelson. She passes to Real. Real to the high post to Gannon. Gannon turns around, is going to put it on the floor. Going to kick it out to Ruling. Ruling's in the paint, kicks it out to Chumley. Chumley's got to fire up a three-pointer from the right side, a little strong. Backside rebound, Olivia Real fights for it. He kicks it out of there, and Coffee County will set it up again. Real fought past Covington to get that rebound. Now Reel's got it. Left wing. Lady Raiders trail by two to Chumley. Up high. Again, in the high post. Hands it off to Chumley. He's going to hand it off to Bella. Bella puts it on the floor. Going down the, down the lane. She's fouled on her way to the basket. And she's going to shoot free throws. It's a good so set. Give Bella an opportunity to get on the board. Like her at the free throw line for sure. Bell on Negro. Was she 94% for the year? I don't want to say it, you know, but it's good. She hits the first. We didn't jinx it. I'll let you do it so people blame you. She knocks down the first. Checking in for Oakland. Uh, Maya Sutton in the game. Replaces Covington. Bella hits them both. Yes, she's a little over 93% for the year, I'm told. 
uh, number one free throw shooter in the state of Tennessee, the number three free throw shooter in the nation in terms of percentage. Really? Yes. Man, you've got all kinds of stats. I know. Pretty impressed. I can make them up. You never know the difference. Coffee County switches to a 1-3-1. I didn't know. Newman gets the ball, picks it up in the corner. As Coffee County's in this 1-3-1 defense. Back to Newman. She's got to fire up a three from the corner. She was open. No, no good. Rebound on the backside. Chumley. Chumley has it ripped away from her. She dives to get it in the corner. Good job by Ellie Chumley with a hustle. And she finds Chloe Gannon off the floor. And Coffee County will have the basketball. Tie ball game with 45 seconds to play in the first quarter. Really hands it off to Bella. To Gannon, who's going to hand it off to Ellie, who's going to hand that off to Bella. Mm. I don't know if she wanted to shoot it this early, I think, is the situation. they got 30 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Bella had a look. Yeah, I know, and Bella having a look, Take sometimes it. it's hard not to pass, the, to pass those things up. Chumley's going to back it up near midcourt and hold as we get inside 20 seconds to play. And pushing the issue is Sutton. She's going to make her move the basketball. She's got to pick up the dribble. She does. She finds Bella near midcourt. 11 seconds to play. Bella picks up her dribble. Finds a reel. Actually, it's tipped away. Vega rolling out of bounds. 8.2 to play. So, Coffee County will have to inbound in front of the Oakland bench. Got 8.2 to get a look. It's a tie game at 11. Whatever you do, you can't turn it over on the going away from the basket. Inbound to Gannon. Gannon to Bella in the post. She puts it on the ground. Tries to get to the middle of the paint. Oh, Shot no that. good. No foul call. Rebound to Edgar Rowe. Ball's knocked away by a reel. It's loose. Picked up by McGowan. She fires one up from half court. Almost hits it. It's off the mark, though. And after one quarter, we're where we started. 11-11 on the First Vision Bank scoreboard. Lady Raider basketball is brought to you by Al White. Ford Lane. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. What's this bottle? And what the? This shirt? How did I get here? Jackson, you're at workout any time. A new gym with state-of-the-art equipment. Keep your squats low and your standards high, because it's open 24-7. Now you're getting it. Complete with massage chairs, padding beds. I love workout any time. Workout any time. Your fitness, your schedule. We all work hard for our money. So if you're in the market for a new or used car, SUV, truck, or van, come to Al White Motors, where you'll always get more bang for your buck. We have a huge selection of pre-owned vehicles for every budget, with vehicles starting at under $2,000. We also have the means to get you financed, whether you have great credit, no credit, or terrible credit. Give us a call at 728-2402 to get pre-approved now. That's Al White Motors in Manchester. Lady Raiders, Lady Patriots tied at 11 after one quarter of play. District, excuse me, region, four AAA semifinals. A trip to the region championship and the state sectional on the line here. Loser season is over. Coffee County with 28 wins. Just need two more. Bella Vincent's going to fire up a long three, knocking it down. Bella Vincent. Capstar Bank three-pointer from the top of the key. First National Bank is now Capstar Bank. Old friends, new name. She didn't need much space there, Josh. Buried that. The girl was not far from her. Columbia with the band, or not Columbia, goodness, Oakland with the basketball. I got all kinds of things in my head. Kelby County in the 1-3-1 defense now. McGowan kicks it down into the corner. They get it to the post. Pass gets loose, but picked up by Oakland. Layup no good, out of bounds off of Beth Nelson. Coffee County basketball. Uh, Nakia Chesterfield got a good look at it. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook Live, that's courtesy of HP Stud Welding tonight. Thank you to them. Daily Ruling dribbled it off of an Oakland foot, and it'll be Coffee County basketball on the sideline. Good call there by the official. Bella to inbound, and she throws it in to Ellie Chumley in the backcourt. Coffee County boys are at Blackman tonight. They tip at about 7.30, and we'll send it to Jonathan Oliver. We'll go back and forth as we can. Bella Vincent on the left elbow. Kicks it to Olivia Real in the corner. He's going to put it on the floor. She's going to go all the way into the paint. Put up a shot. That's a foul. Great job by Olivia Real getting to the basket. And Columbia is going to. Columbia? What? What is wrong with me? We're playing Oakland. I'm not sure. Is it okay if I just call him Columbia? Maybe there's someone on the team I, that just messing with my him. head. <laughs> foul is on Newman, her first. Team fourth. A Real at the free throw line misses the first. Coffee County three of seven to start. At the free throw line, that's got to be better to win games like this. Real to shoot another. Second free throw is up. That's good. Four, four of eight in Coffee County with a four-point lead, the biggest lead for the Lady Raiders so far. You know, we're getting to the line, which is good. We yes. have four girls now who shot free throws. 
five fouls on Oakland, so that's going to be something that could make a difference when coming just, down the stretch in this first half. When just one on Coffee County, which is huge, because Coffee right. County can't afford foul trouble tonight with Emma Fulks not available. Absolutely. For the Raiders. McGowan goes into the corner to Newman. Oh. She trapped down there. She kicks it out of there. The ball goes to the right wing. Ball's knocked away by Chumley and picked up by Oakland on the sideline. That's Sutton. Sutton's in trouble. She's able to get it out of there. Newman, Newman, a little runner in the paint, up and good. Mm, they missed a carry on that play. It, Ruling ahead to Bella. Thought about a three from the right wing, doesn't take that. She's gonna bring it up top and set the offense here for Coffee County. We had numbers there for a second. Looks like we're trying to slow the pace down just a little bit. Gannon, high. They're gonna close out on her a little more. They're not leaving her quiet as open. Bella skips the ball into the corner to Ruling. Had Ellie Chumley posted up, couldn't get the pass to her. Now the ball goes to Ellie Chumley from the high post. It's tipped in the air, it's loose. We got a tied ball. A travel. I'm not sure who they call the travel on because the ball's tied up. It's going to be alternating possession. Oakland, I'm, I'm just curious as to how you call a travel if it's tied up like that and you're falling down. Who, who traveled? I'm not sure. I guess they called that on Nellie Chumley, but. Coach Copeland and his team know he's not happy with that offensive possession. No, he wants him to do a little better next time, I think. <laughs> Is what he's saying to him over there. He said, do better, please. Pretty please. I'd appreciate it. Oakland with the basketball. Uh, ball gets into the post of Chesterfield. Left hand up. That's good. We're tied at 15 all. Chumley finds a ruling. Ruling's going to bring it across the timeline. Coffee County's got some numbers. She kicks it to Bella. Bella gives a head fix. Steps back. Right wing. Three pointer up. A little off the mark. Long rebound pulled down by Oakland. Right to Sutton. And here come the Lady Patriots, chance to take the lead. Five minutes to play here in the second quarter. Oakland with the basketball, getting it to Collier, who checked in. Ball goes into the wing, three-pointer up. That's good for Sutton, her first bucket, and Oakland leads 18-15. Sorry, I missed Erica Collier, who checked in. Ruling gets it across the timeline, passes ahead to Bella. Bella's going to fire for three-pointer, a little strong. Rebound Oakland. That was a quick trip for Coffee County. McGowan with it, trying to get to the paint. She kicks it out of there to Collier. Collier going to try to get into the paint. She's going to turn around and come out of there with it, picks up her dribble. She's in trouble. Then the ball goes into the corner to Newman. For Col Oakland. I don't know why I'm going to do that all night long. Collier with it, right wing. Her pass tipped by Ellie Chumley and right to Joe Pat Copen out of bounds. Coffee County is playing Oakland. <laughs> Y'all just go ahead and forgive me on that. I don't know what's happened to me. Oakland to inbound. Collier gets it in in front of the Coffee County bench. No pressure. Sutton with it up high near the double C's. Coffee County in a man to man defense. They switched out of that 1 3 1. Sutton passes it to Collier. Back to Sutton on the right wing. They get into the post. They wanted to get down there to Chesterfield. Chesterfield shot up good. They're really going after the post now. And Oakland now with its biggest lead of the game at 20 to 15. Coffee County had its biggest lead at four. Now Oakland with its biggest lead at five. Lady Raiders get it across the timeline. Jaylee Ruling trying to get sideline, and she is knocked down by Erica Collier. Her first. Team sixth. Oakland fans calling for a flop, but Jaylee wow. Ruling, Jaylee Ruling uh, almost got knocked into the first row of the bleachers there. Six fouls in Oakland. So Coffee County was shooting the one plus one bonus the rest of the way out. Ball goes to Gannon. Gannon, her pass turns around trying to get it to Bella. It was off the mark. It's a turnover for Coffee County. Coming the other way. Oakland, little runner up and in for McGowan. And Coffee County's got to take a timeout. Trailing by seven as the Lady Patriots have pushed the lead with 3.34 to play here in the first half. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. So imagine this. It's late at night and you're really stinking tired. But you can't find any time to sleep because you're too focused on getting the big high score on that video game. But imagine the next day. You're at school and you're waiting on the result for your test only to find out it's just a big F-. minus. And now you're thinking, crap, I really messed that one up, didn't I? Well, the best solution for that is to get more sleep. You can still enjoy what you love doing, but just be sure to set yourself a time. Ideally, you should get 8 hours of sleep every night. That way, if you sleep better, 
you have enough energy to pass those tests. For more information about the benefits of great sleep, visit sleepfoundation.org. Coffee County basketball to that timeout brought to you by Chanel Gray, Remax First Realty. Coffee County trying to get it across the timeline. Bella Vincent puts it on the floor. She's trapped. She's triple team. She gets it out of there to Jaylee Ruling, who's fouled by Collier. If you're going to triple Bella, that's going to be fine. Somebody's going to be open somewhere. Now we're going to the line. Shoot one and one. And Coffee County's got to make good on these. Collier's second. Team seventh. Checking in for Oakland. This is going to be Beth Nelson. And one plus one at the free throw line here for Jaylee Ruling. Free throw is up and short. Coffee County 4-9 at the free throw line, and Jaylee gets her own rebound. What hustle by Jaylee Ruling. And they're over there yelling for a foul, but, man, she was getting pushed. Yeah, how hustled her there. Ruling on the wing, guarded by Nelson. She'll back it out, 305 to play. Coffee County trying to get into the post. Pass stolen away. Gannon's pass stolen away. A little late on the bounce pass to get it in there. Yeah, I was going to say, they've got to get that entry pass in there a little quicker. Oakland with the basketball. McGowan. McGowan fires up a three. Good. No, they're going to say it's a two. The foot was on the line. Chumley gets it across the timeline. Ahead to Real. Columbia on a heck of a run here. Real pass to Gannon. Gannon puts it on the floor, has it taken away from her. Now the ball is loose and knocked out of bounds by Gannon. Coffee County led 15 to 11. Oakland is on a 13-0 run here. A 13-0 run. They've stretched that lead to nine. And that's not where we want to be with two minutes left in the second quarter. We need to finish this half strong. Ball goes into the post to Nelson. Nelson kicks it out to Newman. Now to McGowan. McGowan gets a screen, puts it on the floor, left hand, kicks, three-pointer on the way from Sutton. Good. All of a sudden, Oakland can't miss, and they push the lead to 27-15. A 16-0 run. And Chumley has it taken away from her in the backcourt. Ball is loose. Oakland chases it down into the post. Nelson has it stripped away. She loses it, goes out of bounds. Coffee County basketball. A 16-0 Oakland run. Bella inbounds to Real, back to Bella. Vince has got to get it across the timeline. Coffee County's got to get some points here. Ball goes ahead to Real. Real. Puts it on the floor, gets under the basket. Right hand reverse, no good. Ball is loose, tracked down by Oakland. Coffee County all of a sudden with just some bad possessions. And trailing by 12. McGowan with it. At the double C's and with a minute to play, Bell is going to step up and try to put the five count on her. Three pointer on the way, Oakland. Good. Newman knocks it down. It's a, golly, 19-0 run. I don't think they've missed from the outside. It's a 15-point Oakland lead. Bella to Chumley. The thing is, you can't score 19 in one trip if you're Coffee County. You just got to get some points. Ball goes to Ruling. Ruling, three-pointers up, strong, rebound, pulled down by Oakland. Here come the Lady Patriots, trying to get it across the timeline. McGowan into the corner. They go into the post. Kicks it back out to Nelson. Now we're at the top of the key, and Oakland's going to hold for a final shot. Chumley's going to go out and pick her up. Coffee County's got some halftime work to do. That is for sure. McGowan goes around real to the rim. Shot no good. Backside rebound pulled down by Oakland and put back up by Chesterfield. Oakland with a 21-0 run. Real fires one up at the buzzer. It's no good. Coffee County led 15-11. 15 to 11. Oakland leads 32 to 15. As we go to the locker room on the First Division Bank scoreboard, and Coffey County in some shock here as they head to the locker room. They've got some work to do if they want to make a game of it in the second half. Meanwhile, 
the Coffee County boys. We're about to tip it off with Blackman. Jonathan Oliver is there. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to send you to that game, and then we're going to get you back here at the start of the second half. Lady Raider basketball is brought to you by Al White, Ford Lincoln. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. Every year, millions of people die from cancer. Over 630,000 of those people were also obese. Uterine lung, breast, colon, and more can be caused by obesity and lack of exercise. Simply exercising regularly can decrease the chance of cancer by 40 to 50 percent. It doesn't have to be hard. Simply walk for half an hour every day, or run, jog, or play a sport you love. Anything to get you moving. Give yourself the extra 40 to 50 percent. Don't put yourself at risk for cancer. Get moving. Outrun cancer. For more information, visit cancer.net. This will be my last time walking down the driveway. This will be my last time grabbing the mail. As you can help, please visit nhtsa.gov. My life has been amazing. I got my first car, met a girl, graduated high school, top of my class. Then I went to my dream college on a full ride athletic scholarship, graduated with a bachelor's degree, and remember the girl? She became my wife. Then some years passed quite a few years. Then my wife and I built a house and had two beautiful children. Then I got my first big promotion. Life went on. I raised kids and before I knew it they were as old as I was. In my old age I thought a lot about the legacy I would leave as I looked at my grandkids playing with the widest smiles on their faces. My life had its ups and downs. But that's just life. A life I never got to live. A legacy I never got to fulfill because I died of an opioid addiction. Now my legacy is just a bottle. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, <laughs> that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau. More than an insurance company, it's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl, and someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. I'm tired of my bank. I want to go somewhere that's better. Well, you know First Vision Bank can make it easier than ever. They can give you cash back on your everyday needs, and if you use a different ATM, they reimburse the fees. Wow, wow that's great. Thank you for the tip. Please, you don't have to thank me. Anyone can make the switch. If you're tired of your bank, don't let them treat you badly. Go to First Vision Bank right across the road from Zaxby's.
Raiders are going to need something special. Trailing 32 to 15. Biggest deficit of the half that I can remember for this season. Coffee County is going to need some big things to happen. It's going to be Oakland basketball to start at the second half. Inbounding right in front of us is going to be Beth Nelson for Oakland. Oakland going left to right on your radio dial. Maya Sutton with the basketball for Oakland. See what Coffee County changes up. See, they play a little more aggressive defensively. They may have been trying to be a little soft and not get into foul trouble in that first half. Coffee County Raider boys trailing 16 to 7 with Blackman. We'll get it back to Jonathan Oliver over there at the next available opportunity. If you're listening on the radio, 107.9 FM, 1328 Manchester Go app. Back cut. Ball's kicked off. Right hand layup up. No good for Oakland. Rebound Chloe again. And Coffee County got a break because Chester had a good look at it. Oakland's 21 nothing run right now. To close that first half, Coffee County led this game 15 to 11. And Oakland leads. 32-15. Chubbly with the ball up high. Going to go to Olivia Real on a back cut. Real, shot blocked. She gets it back, loses it. Ball's thrown, tipped out of bounds. Oakland basketball. Real got the ball in the lane, just couldn't finish the layup. We needed that possession to go our way, too. <laughs> Oakland basketball. It's good to hear the crowd still giving these girls a lot of encouragement. McGowan kicks it to the top of the key to Nelson. <laughs> Oakland basketball now. It is Sutton. Sutton, right wing, fires up a three off the mark. Rebound Olivia Real. Passes ahead to Ruling. Ruling controls it in front of the Coffee County bench. She skips it to Real. Real three pointers up on the way from the wing. Good, Olivia Real. Coffee County needed some points, and they got some. 32-18. That kills the run. Kills the run. Gives these girls some confidence. Let's see if they can turn it around here. Ball goes in the high post to Chesterfield. She hands it off to Newman. Now the ball goes into the left wing. That's Sutton. Sutton trying to lob into the post. She threw it right to Olivia Real. Real. Ahead to Chumley. Chumley's hit and fouled by McGowan. Her first. So a couple of turnovers here for Oakland. Checking in for the Patriots is Covington. At last check, the boys, the Coffee County boys trailing 16-7. If Jackson will give me an update on that, I'll let you know what the score is, Coffee County boys and Blackman. And we'll send it back to them on the radio in a little while. Uh, Raider TV will keep it right here. Lady Raiders trail 32-18. Got a long way to go. Key to it, I think Brandon's understanding you can't score 14 points in one possession. It's one possession at a time. They go to Gannon in the post, and she's fouled. That's right. They've got to stay patient. They've got to keep their offense uh, just moving forward, trying to chip away at the this deficit. Fouls on Covington, her second. Yeah, and I think the key is, you know, you still got time. It's kind of like a football team. You can't abandon your run game. You still got some time here. Ball goes to Ruling, goes out of bounds. Chumley's pass to Ruling, cutting on the baseline, just a little too strong. One thing Coffee County can't afford is turnovers. You're right. Every possession needs to be, it needs to count at this point. Oakland with the basketball. Newman going to hand it off up top to Covington. Ball goes to the left wing. Three-pointer is up off the mark. Backside rebound. Olivia Real yanks it down. She finds Jaylee Ruling. Here comes Coffee County with 522 to play in the third quarter. Ruling on hands it off to Bella Vincent on the right wing. She's guarded there by Beth Nelson. She's going to go all the way to the basket. Right hand up and good. There's Bella Vincent. That's her first two-point basket of the game. And it's a 12-point basketball game. Coffee County trying to make a little run at it. Ball goes into the high post to Chesterfield. She gets it to the low post to Nelson, who finishes. So Oakland's able to get some points up. Ruling gets it across the timeline, finds Bella. Bella dribbles it through some folks. Now passes to Chumley on the left wing. Working on getting you a boys score. Jonathan Oliver is there. We'll send it back to him in a little while. Jaylee Ruling to Gannon. Gannon back to Ruling. Right now the Coffee County boys trail Blackman 16-13. Trent Scribner sitting with three fouls. Real goes into the paint. Right hand layup up, just a little too strong. Good defense there by Nelson. Oakland pushing it up the floor. 
the boys, if you're listening, Coffee County boys trailing 16-13 to Blackman. Newman drives, baseline, kicks it, shot up, no good. It went in and out for Chesterfield. Coffee County gets the rebound. Ahead to Ruling. Coffee County got a break there. Ruling into the right corner in front of the Coffee County bench now to Ellie Chumley. Chumley at high near the double C's. Coffee County trailing by 14. See what Coffee County tries to do there. Real high up top. Looking for Ruling on the right wing. She gets her. Now to Chumley in the corner. Chumley puts it on the floor, left hand, finds Ruling, top of the key, back to Chumley. Now to Bella Vincent in front of the Coffee County bench. Gets a screen from Chumley, steps back. She's too far away from the basket to shoot one. 3.30 to play, third quarter. Lady Raiders trail by 14. Now to Real, Real pulls up, free throw line, shot up a little strong, off the, off the backboard and in for Olivia Real. I thought that ball was going to be too strong, but it was just strong enough. Yeah, Bank, I don't know if she called it, but that's five for Olivia Real in the second half. 12-point game. Oakland trying to hand it off. Jaylee Ruling gets in there, steals it away, rips it away. Ruling going ahead, got to lob it to Real. Speed Queen fast break to Gannon. Gannon loses the basketball, and it's on the floor. Oakland's double dribbling. Colby County will take it. Neither side happy with the officiating and all that. No. Maybe a few too many passes there on that fast break. She was behind the goal. Olivia Real had a hard, hard line at the shot. Ball goes into Bella in the post. Spin move. Off the glass. Up. It went in and out. She couldn't get it to stay in there. Speed Queen washers and dryers are available. Garners Furniture and Appliance in Manchester. 204 East to McLean Street. Go see Lloyd or Cassie. They got free delivery in the local area. Your locally owned furniture appliance store. It's hard to find those these days. Support local. Support Garners Furniture in downtown Manchester. Oakland basketball going baseline. Having to kick it out. Ball is loose. Bella tried to get it. It's kicked out of bounds by Oakland. It's Coffee County basketball. It went off the foot of Beth Nelson. At last check, the Coffee County Raiders trail Oakland 16-14. Jackson Vaughn with a couple of free throws to get that score. We'll go back to them in a little bit. 2.34 to play here in the third quarter. Lady Raiders need points, trailing by 12, but still time. Jaylee Ruling skips it over to Ellie Chumley up high. Dangerous pass. McGowan was eyeballing that, but she got it to her. Now Ruling. Ruling to Real. Real to Chumley up high. Top of the key. Finds Ruling. Ruling's going to fire up a three-point shot. That's a little too strong. Rebound pulled down by McGowan. Here come the Lady Patriots. Coffee County's going to have to hit some of those if they're going to get back in it. Good look they're for Jaylee. Good, good looks at the basket, though. Nelson puts it on the floor, right hand. Bounce pass, baseline, layup up and good for Chesterfield. Back in front by 14 are the Lady Patriots. Chumley gets it across the timeline, picks up her dribble, skips it to Ruley. Ruley almost lost her dribble. She's able to save it. She's guarded tightly up there by Covington. She finds Real into the corner to Chumley. Chumley trying to get it to Bella in the post, but they're just tripling. Her ball goes into the corner. Real three-point shot up strong. Rebound. Going to be a foul on Chloe Gannon over the back. That's going to be two fouls on her. She has actually the only two fouls on Coffee County tonight. Timeout. Oakland, brought to you by Chanel Gray, Remax First Realty. Plenty of ways to sell your home. You can try with Chanel Gray, 273-53-58. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. What's this bottle and what the, this shirt? How did I get here? Jackson, you're at workout any time. A new gym with state-of-the-art equipment. Keep your squats low and your standards high because it's open 24-7. Now you're getting it. Complete with massage chairs, padding beds. I love workout anytime. Workout anytime. Your fitness, your schedule. We all work hard for our money. So if you're in the market for a new or used car, SUV, truck, or van, come to Al White Motors, where you'll always get more bang for your buck. We have a huge selection of pre-owned vehicles for every budget, with vehicles starting at under $2,000. We also have the means to get you financed, whether you have great credit, no credit, or terrible credit. Give us a call at 728-2402 to get pre-approved now. That's Al White Motors in Manchester. Back to the Blackman Boys game. So we got you on Raider TV here. If you want to listen to the boys game, turn it on 107.9 FM or the Manchester Go app or Thunder1320.com. You listen to the Raider boys. The Lady Raiders force a turnover in the backcourt. 
Covington walked out of that timeout. Take that. Hey, full court press. Looks like we're going to start that here late in the third quarter. We need to finish this quarter off strong, Josh. Ruling with the basketball for Coffee County. Minute 17 to play on the First Division Bank scoreboard. Lady Raiders down by 14. Got to get some more shots up. Got to get some more points. Skip it to Ruling. Ruling going to Gannon in the post, puts it on the floor. They're going to triple team her. She's fouled by Chesterfield, her second. To the free throw line is Gannon, who hits the first. Coffee County, 5 of 10 at the free throw line by my count. I think you're right. I'd like to have some of those points. Second free throw is up. That's good. There's some of them. We get 6 of 11, and we have a 12-point basketball game. Coffee County, if you can get it back inside 10, things feel a little bit different, don't they? McGowan in the backcourt trying to get it across. She does to Covington. Covington bounces it back up to McGowan. Coffee County was trying to avoid the press if they could to try not to get too tired. Pass almost stolen away by Bella. Instead, it's in the hands of McGowan. Now she finds Nelson. Bounce pass to the wing. Covington guarded tightly by Jaylee Rulin. The Coffee County crowd getting into it. Newman up high for the Lady Patriots. Nelson. Bounce passes to the corner. Now up top to McGowan. Coffee County girls trailing, 36-24, 20 seconds to play. Third quarter, Nelson in the corner. Pass knocked away by Bella. She goes back and gets it, and they're going to get a foul on Real. This could be a long game of keep away in the fourth quarter. 13 seconds to play, third quarter. That foul was on Real, her first. Ball goes into Blackman. Into the corner now. McGowan. McGowan puts it on the floor. She's fouled by ruling on the floor. On her way to the basket. So it'll be Oakland inbounding. Lobbing it in. Getting it in. Shot up no good by Chesterfield. Good defense by Gannon. Two seconds to play. Chumley fires one up from midcourt off the mark. That's the end of three. Lady Raiders trailing 36-24. They outscored them 9-4 in that quarter. That's just not enough. They're going to have to do it again in the fourth quarter and make up more ground. The Lady Raiders trailing 36-24 after three quarters. Lady Raider basketball is brought to you by Al White. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. Bye, Mom. Love you. This will be my last time telling my mom I love her. This would be my last time walking down the driveway. This would be my last time grabbing the mail. you can help, please visit nhtsa.gov. Tough Oakland team. Yeah, it's a tough team. They're playing hard defense. Our girls are getting... Gannon turned around, tried to enter into the post and just threw it a little too strong. Getting Chloe. a little tight under the gun, I think. Gannon's entry pass just a little too strong. Coffee County turned it over to start the fourth quarter. Not a good way to start. Sutton with the basketball for Oakland. You really can't let them extend the lead any more than 12, 13 points. Still time. I watched this team come back from down eight with 30 seconds to play against White County. So uh, there's time. Oh, it's doable. Olivia Real knocks in and knocks it away from Nelson, but she gets it back. She passes it to McGowan. McGowan shot up no good, but she's fouled on the floor. See who that foul's on. Foul's on Bella Vincent, her first. Bella can afford to play aggressively here. She just got one foul. Team fourth. Oakland to inbound baseline. 
7.21 to play. Raider boys trailing 25-20. Ball knocked away by Ruling. It's loose on the floor. Getting it is Ellie Chumley, and she passes it out of there. What a hustle by Ellie Chumley. Her left arm looks to be a little banged up. Let's hope she's okay. Ruling. Bounces it to Real. Real to Chumley. What a hustle by Ellie Chumley getting on the floor. To Bella. Bella left elbow. Jump shot up. Good. It's a 10-point basketball game. It's 36-26. See if Colby County can close the gap even more. McGowan up high, guarded by Bella. She's looking for a screen. She gets one from Megarill. She's going to go all the way to the basket, and she's going to turn around. A little six-foot jumper up. No good. Rebound Bella Bits and yanks it down with some authority. Hands it off to Jaylee Ruling. Colby County basketball. She's going to get blocked. Foul on Oakland. It looked worse than it was, but Sutton was moving. That's going to be a block every time. Her first, the Coffee County student section has woke up. Hello. I think it's the first time I've heard them tonight. 10 point game, 6.30 to play. Coffee County trying to come back here. Jaylee Ruling with the basketball. Gonna float it to Ellie Chumley. Coffee County setting up their offense. Gannon in the high post. Gonna give it to Bella. Bella's doubled, she's gonna have to pass it out of that. To Chumley, Chumley, bounce pass to the corner. Ruling, we're gonna get a block. On Oakland down there. See who that's on. On 15, I think. Sutton, it is her second. So Coffee County to inbound. That's the fifth team foul on Oakland. Fits it. Lobs it up top to Jaylee Ruley. 6-10 to play. Bella gets it. High post. Spin in the paint. Right hand up. A little short. Rebound. Pulled out of there by Oakland. Decent look for Bella in the paint. It's rough down there. It is rough, and she's getting double teamed every time she gets in the paint. Sometimes triple teamed. Miguel went to Newman on the right wing, 550 to play. Now Egaro swinging around to the left wing, Sutton. Miguel, good basketball player. She's looking for a screen. <laughs> Egaro got in her way. Now she's going to fire up a mid range jumper. It's good. Miguel has got 11. It's back to a 12 point basketball game, 534 to play. Colby Cannon's got to push the pace. Still time, though. Chumley's trapped in the corner. Coffee County have to burn a timeout here, and they will burn a timeout here. Timeout brought to you by Chanel Gray, Remax First Realty. 931-273-5358. Lady Raider basketball is brought to you by Al White. Ford. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. So imagine this. It's late at night, and you're really stinking tired. But you can't find any time to sleep because you're too focused on getting the big high score on that video game. But imagine the next day, you're at school and you're waiting on the result for your test, only to find out it's just a big F minus. And now you're thinking, crap, I really messed that one up, didn't I? Well, the best solution for that is to get more sleep. You can still enjoy what you love doing, but just be sure to set yourself a time. Ideally, you should get 8 hours of sleep every night. That way, if you sleep better, you have enough energy to pass those tests. For more information about the benefits of great sleep, visit sleepfoundation.org. Six to play, fourth quarter. That whistle was right in my ear. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I have to turn my mic up too loud. Jaylee Ruling with the basketball. She's going to float it over to Chumley on the right wing. Chumley looking to get it to Bella in the post. That's not there. She's got Gannon in the high post. Gannon skips it to Ruling in the left corner. Ruling puts it on the floor. Spin move. Trying to get to the baseline. That's shut down. Good defense down there by Sutton. Real now with it. All the way into the lane. Right hand off the glass. Olivia Real. Two points. Back to a 10-point game. 38-28. Now is the time to make your move, I think. Any time will be good. Sutton gets a screen, had wide open. Nelson floating to the basket. Coffee Cane didn't switch well on it, but missed it. Now it's McGowan. McGowan, that's a moving pick all day on Oakland. No call. Agarro kind of acting like she's confused, but I think she's just been setting moving picks. It's working. Ruling reaches in, knocks the ball away. It's loose. It's on the floor. Fighting for it. We got a whistle and a foul. Going to be called on Jaylee Ruling. Is that just her first? That's her second foul. 4.32 to play. 
on the First Division Bank scoreboard. Oakland basketball, Sutton to inbound, side court. He gets it in to Newman. And J. Lou's putting so much pressure on that ball. At this point for Coffee County, you have to. I mean, they don't, you don't have Emma Folks here tonight. You're short on the bench, but you gotta do what you can to try to win this ball game. McGowan, backing out in Oakland, can slow the pace down and select their shots. And we're gonna get a five second call. Jaylee Ruling forced McGowan into a five second situation. Jaylee Ruling like a net defensively. She really is. She just will not leave you alone. Just love to watch the intensity she plays defense with. She's just a sophomore. And offense, she's a sophomore. And get to see her for two more years. Bella with the basketball guarded up high by Beth Nelson. To Chumley, inside of four minutes to play now. Chumley finds Real. Calvary County down 10. Real puts it on the floor, dribbles over into the right corner in front of the bench. Now she finds Chumley. Chumley puts it on the floor. She's going to the bench. Right hand up, off the glass. Good, and the foul. And leads Chumley all the way to the glass. She's going to get to shoot one more. I was just thinking to myself, someone's going to have to start pushing it. Fouls on. Getting it to the hole. Edgar Rowe, her second. Headed to the free throw line. Here is Ellie Chumley. Chance to cut this to a seven point basketball game. Chumley hit one free throw earlier. She's one of two at the line. Misses that one. Rebound pulled out of there by Columbia. Or open. <laughs> You've gotten it right more than you've gotten it wrong. Yeah, I've gotten it wrong too many times. Oakland with the basketball. McGowan kicks it over to the right wing to Sutton in a timeout. Oakland with 3.28 to play in the fourth quarter. The Lady Raiders have cut it to eight. Can they complete the comeback? Timeout brought to you by Chanel Gray. Remax first real. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. As a young high school student, I've always been afraid of commitment. I mean, selecting just one out of everyone out there and then sticking with them, <laughs> that's pretty scary. But my guy, he made it easy. He's always there for me. He always has the time for me. And when I need him, I just pick up the phone. Farm Bureau, more than an insurance company. It's about relationships. Contact your local Farm Bureau agent. So I guess you could say I'm one lucky girl. And someday I may take it to the next level. You know, maybe like adding homeowners and banking. Three twenty-eight to play. Coffee County basketball. Excuse me, Oakland basketball. Newman trying to get it in. She finds Nelson. Nelson guarded by Bella. Her pass ends up in the hands oh. of McGowan, who walks. McGowan, sure enough, travel. They got it. They got it. Big possession here, Josh. Three twenty-four to play. Lady Raiders down eight. Coffee County trailed at the half, thirty-two to fifteen. Ruling trying to get it across the timeline against the pressure. She does. Skips it to Chumley. Chumley to Bella. High, long three on the way. Good for Bella Benson from 30 feet. It's a five point game. 38, 33. What a roll. McGowan looking for a screen. Real will take her. And here comes the crowd. Here comes the student section. Does Coffee County have their 29th win in them? It's going to take more work. McGowan gets a screen guarded by Chumley. That's not a good matchup for Coffee County. Excuse me, that was Gannon. Now the ball goes into the post to Chesterfield. Chesterfield bounce pass to Nelson. Kick it out to Newman. Newman head fake, penetrates. 12 foot jumper up, no good. Backside rebound, Chloe Gannon. Here comes Coffee County with the basketball. Lob it ahead to Bella. Bella in front of the Coffee County bench. She's going to back it up, set this off. It's 220 to play. Coffee County down by five. Lady Raiders trailed. 32-15, now they're down five. Vincent into the paint, around Nelson, right hand off the glass, no good, rebound, L.A. Chumley, Chumley, off the glass, right hand, no good. Gannon, rebound, foul! <laughs> Crashing the boards! Two offensive rebounds right there. You can tell these girls really want this game. They want this victory, they're fighting with everything they've got. Chesterfield, with her third. Gannon to shoot free throws here, you need these. First free throws up, no good. Coffee County has struggled at the free throw line. Again tonight, they've struggled the past few games and those are hurting right now. Six of 14 or six of 15, I think. I'm counting seven missed shots. 
Missed that one. Eight. Rebound Ellie Chumley. Chumley loses it out of bounds. Oakland basketball. Chumley says, no, that didn't, that went off her foot, but no call here. Coffee County's gonna set up the press. Missed two shots there. That hurts. That does hurt. Looks like maybe we got a back call there too. Oakland with the basketball, McGowan. Coffee County's cut it to five. We're inside of two minutes to play. McGowan gets a screen, now she's got real on her. She picks up her dribble. Coffee County's gonna push the issue. McGowan doesn't have anywhere to go, and it's a timeout, Oakland, with 30 seconds, or a 30 second timeout with a minute 47 to play. Lady Raiders trail by five on the first Division Bank score. The Lady Raiders play here. This is Thunder Radio. Go somewhere that's better. Well, you know First Vision Bank can make it easier than ever. They can give you cash back on your everyday needs. And if you use a different ATM, they reimburse the fees. Wow, wow that's great. Gee, thank you for the tip. Please, you don't have to thank me. Anyone can make the switch. If you're tired of your bank, don't let them treat you badly. Go to First Vision Bank right across the road from Zaxby's. Lady Patriot basketball of that time out. Brought to you by Chanel Gray, Remax First Realty. Coffee County trailing by five, minute 47 to play. Win or go home in this situation. Ball picked up by Sutton. She has to pass the ball out of there. She gets it to Nelson. Nelson, guarded by Real. She's gonna drive and kick. She's able to get it to a Lady Patriot. Shot up good by Chesterfield. Seven point game again, minute 30 to play. Coffee County's got time. Ruling gets it across the timeline. She's bumped, no foul call. She gets it to Bella. Bella's gonna go down the lane, right hand up and good. Bella Vincent answers. She's got 14. It's a five point game again. Here comes McGowan. Minute 17 to play. Coffee County's going to start fouling, and they do. They foul Covington. That's only the team's sixth, so Oakland will not shoot here. Coffee County chance to steal on the inbound. Covington to throw it in. She gets into the back court to McGowan. You don't want to foul her. No. Nope. Anybody else? Bella's going to defend her and try to make her pass it. McGowan gives a crossover. She gets a screen. Now Real picks her up. Real's got a five count on her. She passes it off. There's where the foul is That's right there. Foul. And they get it to Covington, and Covington's going to the free throw line. To shoot That's one plus one. That'll be Chumley's first foul, I think. Second. She Second. picked up the one a moment ago. Oh, my fault. Missed that one. And you need Covington to miss the front end. And you got to get a rebound if you're Coffee County. Covington has no points tonight. First free throw is up. No good. Rebound. Coffee County. Five point game, minute to play. Bella Benson going to bring it down the floor. Guarded by Covington. Now she's going to be double teamed. Oakland's just straight up double tailing. Somebody's got to be open. She finds real. Real to Chumley. Chumley in the paint. Goes up. Shots blocked. It's loose. Tracked down by Jaylee Ruley. Ruley finds Bella Benson. Left wing. Gives a head fake. And a step back. She doesn't have a three. She finds. Jaylee, Jaylee to Real. Real has it knocked away from her. It's loose in the paint. Ball's on the floor. Picked up by. We're going to get a hell ball. Alternating possession arrow is going to be open with 32 seconds to play. Coffee County, an empty possession there. That hurts. Like we were forcing the issue, lost our composure just a little bit. Covington gets it in to McGowan, and Coffee County's going to foul her. And he's got a foul. There's no time to get it out of her hands now as you're inside of 30 to play. McGowan to the free throw line. She's got 11 tonight. It'll be one plus one. 29 seconds to play. Lady Raiders trail by five. Now it's first free throw is up. It's no good. Rebound. Chumley to Vincent. Vincent going to bring it down the sideline. They're going to double her. She picks up her dribble. She finds Chumley. Chumley to the corner. Real. Real fires up a three. Off the mark. Rebound. Chloe Gannon. Gannon's yeah. fouled under the basket with 16.9 to play. Got to have these two, Josh. Yes, you do. Sixteen point nine to play. Lady Raiders trying to cut this to a one possession game with a pair of free throws here. Gannon has seven tonight. Gannon's free throws up, in and out, in and out for Gannon. Gannon to shoot another. Free throw is up. That one's good. Timeout. Joe Pat Cope. 
Brought to you by Chanel Gray Remax First Realty. All kinds of ways to sell your home. Why not try to sell it with Chanel? We're going to keep it right here. Um, Chanel Gray Remax First Realty, 931 273 5358. That's 931 273 5358. Call her today. 16.9 to play. You're down by four. You get a turnover here. Got to try to steal you, one. Got to get a turnover here in the backcourt if you can. You can be extremely aggressive. Nobody for Coffee County's in foul trouble. Um, so you can be extremely aggressive trying to get one. The referees have been pretty lenient to let the teams play. Meanwhile, in Murfreesboro, Phineas Roman with a three-pointer. We're tied at 25 early in the third quarter. Coffee County boys and Blackman, we're going to send you to that game as soon as we're done here. As soon as we're done. I'm not even going to keep it for a post-game interview as much as I would like to. Um, we're going to get it out of here and uh, send it over to Jonathan Oliver. See what Coffee County has drawn up out of the timeout. Inbounding is Covington. She can run the baseline here. She's looking for somebody. She gets it in, and Chumley's going to reach in. And they're going to say she tied up McGowan. They're going to say she tied up McGowan. There's the forced turnover. She just laid out and held on to that ball. Chumley giving every bit of effort she could give there into this game. Timeout, Coffee County. It's a 30-second timeout for Joe Pat Coe. Brought to you by Chanel Gray, Remax First Realty. Don't forget, we've got uh, boys coming up next. Also, don't forget our friends at Garner's Furniture and Appliance, 204 East McLean Street. Coffee County Bank, I had a chance to talk about them tonight. Uh, keeping your money close to home since 1975. Good time to talk about them. Coffee County forces a hell ball. Don't get head up on your next big purchase. Construction of vehicle loans at Coffee County Bank. Coffee County ball, down by four. If you can get two here, that changes the trajectory of this game. 40-36, Bella to inbound on the baseline. I imagine they're going to try to inbound and go back to her. She lobs it into Chumley at the top of the key. She hands it off to Bella, and we're going to call a hand check on Oakland. That's going to be on Covington. And that's, it was Ellie. I thought, so Ellie's going to the free throw line with 13.4 to play. They tried to sneak Bella in there. I would too. Pretty good tactic. Yeah. You go shoot. <laughs> Ellie Chumley, three points tonight. She'll shoot one plus one. Free throw is up. No good. Rebound. Oakland, foul on Coffee County. That hurts. Coffee County, the free throw line has just been bad. Ten missed free throws. Ten. You're trailing by four. And that is going to hurt you tonight. You give us half of those, we're leading 41-40. Mm. Going to the other end is Beth Nelson, who's got six. She'll shoot one plus one. Oakland's missed the front end the last two trips. She does not. Nelson hits the front end. She'll shoot one more. She misses it. Rebound Gannon. Gannon ahead to Bella. Bella trying to get it up the sideline. Bella's going to go all the way to the glass. She's fouled hard and hits the floor. With 6.6 .6 to play. 6.6, .6, Bella to shoot two. If you can get two, you got a three-point game with 6.6 .6 to play. Coffee County's got one timeout left. Vincent's got 14 tonight. First free throw is up and good. Bella to shoot one more. That's a big one. Free throw is up. Good. We have ourselves a three-point basketball game with 6.6 .6 to play. Does Coffee County have some magic left in them here? You win or you're done. At this point, I'm kind of hoping we can hang around here for maybe an overtime. Yeah. And, and Hit a three, send it to overtime. I know some people are excited about hearing the guys game, but I'd like to see this one go on a little bit longer, you under, know? Uh, under three minutes to play in the boys game, Raiders uh, trailing 27-25, under three in the, the third quarter. 
under a minute in the third quarter. I'm sorry, not a lot of scoring in the third quarter. If that's the right information that's coming to me, apparently I need the team get hit shots. 6.6 .6 to play. Covington set to inbound. Screens everywhere. The ball goes in and a foul on Jaylee Ruling. She bumped McGowan, which is where they were trying to go. About a half a second ran off the clock. So go to the other end. McGowan to shoot two this time. She hits one of them. That pretty much does you in. Honestly, you have to, yeah. it does. You, you can't you don't have enough time. Just not enough time to get the ball all the way up the court and shoot, Wait. score. Coffee County's out of timeouts. The clock will run on a, on a made shot. So you can't get it. They won't have to inbound it. So if she hits one, that's going to end this. McGowan hits it. And that pretty much is going to ice it for Oakland with 5.9 to play. Second free throws up. That's good, too. Coffee County gets it into Bella. He's going to try to get it down the floor as fast as she can. Fire up a three. It's off the mark. And that does it. Oakland with the upset. 43 to 38 is the final score. Coffee County quickly gets off the floor. And that'll be the final. The Lady Raiders finish 28 and 2. Two wins shy of getting a state tournament berth for the first time since 1993. What a great season it was. I would love to sit here and reminisce and talk, but we got a good boys game going on over in Murfreesboro. Jackson, if you're listening to me back at the studio, let's get it over to Oliver, take a 60-second break if we need to, and let's listen to boys basketball as the Raiders and the Blaze are in a tight one in Murfreesboro. I'm Josh Peterson for Brad Costello saying